Continuing from the previous video, let's switch gears and talk about converting units in the English system. These conversions are a little more difficult as we can't just move a decimal point one direction or the other. Instead, we will use a different process. If we want to convert one and a half pounds into ounces, the first thing we need to do is write our starting value of one and a half pounds as a fraction over one. Then we need to set up a conversion factor. Since we initially have pounds in the numerator, we will need to put pounds in the denominator of our conversion factor. Then we can use our table to find a conversion factor for pounds to ounces. We see that one pound is equal to 16 ounces. Since we already placed pounds in the denominator of our conversion factor, we will stick the one in front of it and put 16 ounces in the numerator. Next, we need to make sure unwanted units cancel. Pounds divided by pounds just equals one, so those units cancel, and we are left with units of ounces, which is what we are looking for. Last, we need to multiply and simplify. Multiplying across, one and a half times 16 ounces equals 24 ounces, and we are done. Now we are going to find a conversion that will help us later in this course. Often in science, we find the speed of an object by clocking the seconds it takes to cover a certain distance in feet. However, it is easier to visualize miles per hour. Let's find a conversion for miles per hour into feet per second. We will start out by writing our initial value as a fraction, one mile over hours. Now we need to convert miles into feet and hours into seconds. Since we start out with miles in the numerator, we will need to put miles in the denominator of our conversion factor. We can use our table to see that one mile is equal to 5,280 feet, putting one mile in the denominator, since we already have miles there, and 5,280 feet in the numerator. Now we can convert hours into seconds. We will use a direct conversion. Since we start out with hours in the denominator, we will need to put hours in the numerator of the conversion factor in order to cancel the unwanted units. We also know that there are 3,600 seconds in one hour. One hour goes on top, 3,600 seconds goes on the bottom. Now we can cancel our unwanted units. Miles over miles cancel each other out, and hours over hours cancel each other. We are left with units of feet per second, which is exactly what we want. Our last step is to multiply everything across in the numerator, everything across in the denominator, and divide. This gives us a final answer of 1.47 feet per second, so one mile per hour is equal to approximately 1.47 feet per second. Let's look at another example converting units within the English system. Let's use our new conversion factor to convert 50 feet per second into miles per hour. We will start out by writing our initial 50 feet per second as a fraction over one. Since we have feet per second in the numerator, we will need to put feet per second in the denominator of our conversion factor. We just found that one mile per hour is equal to 1.47 feet per second, so we will write 1.47 feet per second in the denominator and one mile per hour in the numerator. Next, we can cancel unwanted units of feet per second over feet per second. Last, we can multiply everything across on top, everything across on the bottom, and then we can divide 50 divided by 1.47. This gives us a final answer of approximately 34 miles per hour is equal to 50 feet per second. Let's look at one last example. This time, we will convert between the two measurement systems. For these problems, we will be using the far right-hand column in our conversion chart. We will convert 35 liters into gallons. Like before, we can start out by writing 35 liters as a fraction over one. Then we can find a conversion factor for liters to gallons, which is one gallon is equal to 3.79 liters. Since liters are in the numerator initially, we will put 3.79 liters in the denominator of our conversion factor and one gallon in the numerator. Now, cancel the unwanted units of liters over liters. Last, multiply across and divide. 35 divided by 3.79 is approximately equal to 9.23 gallons, rounding to three significant digits. This concludes our discussion on measurement conversion.